Sunday morning, we're off for a walk. It might be Sunday afternoon actually, we're not yeah. quite sure. <laughs> I think it's just afternoon. <laughs> and uh, yeah, it's good to be out, isn't it? It's lovely. It's a lovely day today. It's not raining for once. It's uh, gone, the walking has gone a little bit by the way. We've just been distracted with getting the boat straight and finding our way around. Also, the weather has been really not conducive is it to walking no but today we've got sunshine and it's good it feels good really good to just be out for a stroll doesn't it it's taken us a long time it's three weeks now tomorrow since we moved on board and uh, it's taken all that time to adapt hasn't it <laughs> i got to the point at one at one stage thinking oh what have we done because we're so used to constanza and its little quirks and ways and uh Got into a routine and um, <clears throat> it's difficult, has been difficult settling into, I don't know, what's Boat the, life boat again. Boat life we, again, we yeah. feel that in a way, um, we've lost a little bit of boat life. It's, it, as I say, has all just become about the boat. Yeah. Come on, you two, out the way. It yeah. has all become about the boat. And in a way, it felt, we said last night, we felt that we'd slipped a little bit into more being land life than boat life because everything has been at a touch of the button we've been good we've not been using the central heating now we were initially yeah we're back to lighting our fire and putting stuff on the stove and um it's obviously going to give us more free time to do the things we want to do i think it's just adjusting it's just it is just different <laughs> i'm um, really pleased with the boat though it's uh, fantastic she glides through the water really easily um yeah a lot more power we've had some windy days haven't we yeah. um and driving her in the wind has been absolutely no problem and in fact reversing yesterday at winsford flash um, which is very very shallow and you've got to get it right constanza did did very much go her own way <laughs> when she was going in reverse and uh, this boat is a lot simpler yeah so it's, uh, it's a lot heavier as well i think it's another four ton in weight but we're going to get back to foraging now and i've got the weaving loom set up again for the first time since we've been on board started weaving hoping that you can get um Me mojo back your to mo do some yeah painting. when yeah. you feel that you're ready to there's yeah. a space now that you can have the holding net can't you to do that so but i've got my turntable out now i've got my oh, yeah. vinyl all waiting to be played and uh, i've picked up a mini amplifier yesterday i've got speakers to pick up tomorrow that'll actually be you for the next few weeks no, you won't hear it? a it's thing from me now that'll be it <laughs> clickety clack of the weaving loom and uh, the boom 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 of your music <laughs> <laughs> so there it goes. That's what your parents used to say. Can you stop that boing boing music going on? <laughs> right, we've got uh, some wetland areas to go and have a look at, uh, some boardwalks to walk along, so uh, let's go. Hartford Wetland near Northwich and it's absolutely magical. 
we've just stepped off of the river walkway and taken I don't know 50 paces on these boardwalks that go through the marshy boggy ground but the plant life the trees the bird song everything is just so different from just walking along the river Amazing. there isn't it yeah. Yeah. we've got loads of different plants loads of marsh marigolds and a little white flower that I've got to go and look up because it's everywhere and I don't know what it is. Bluebells, there's a kind of mint around isn't there, is it eau de cologne? Eau de cologne or water yeah. mint, I'm not sure which, it's just wonderful and apparently there are newts and frogs and toads and dragonflies and Only spoiled by the incessant roar of traffic. But we're, we're trying to listen out for a cuckoo because we've not heard a cuckoo yet this year, have we? We haven't heard a cuckoo for three years and they are an endangered bird, uh, which is a shame. Um, but we are keeping our ears open. Yeah. So now, which way? The steps or the flat path? The path less taken was the present place, is it? <laughs> this way. Who got dressed first today? I got dressed first. And you chose? Purple top, blue jeans, green jacket. And then I went and got dressed and not thinking, chose purple top, blue jeans, green jacket. <laughs> Does anybody out there remember Howard and Hilda? Is it from Ever Decreasing Circles? Yeah, sitcom back in the 80s I guess, wasn't it? But um, so I hesitate to say, but I think that's who we're becoming. I feel, I feel a right plonker. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think he can make his mind up if he loves me or loves me not because it won't work. Go on, what's this? Is that... Loves me. Loves me not. <laughs> so this has been our mooring spot for the last few days and it has been fabulous. There's been so much bird life sitting on the wood over there. Um, it's been really, really peaceful. But today we're moving on. Um, Rich is doing engine checks and the locks ahead of us are manned, but I'm going to walk ahead and ask the lock keepers to open the locks for us ready. Rich has just turned up hoping the gates were going to be open, but I've come ahead and there are two lovely men that are volunteers and they're in training this for two weeks. They've got to train. Um, so they've been to get the official lock keeper who between them are going to open Oh, there's another, there's a third, a second, a fourth lock keeper. So between them all, they've got to open the swing bridge and the gates and fill the lock. So it's all very interesting. And Rich just has to hover for a bit now. So we've obviously got to wait for all pedestrians waiting to go to cross over. In the meantime, I think they're going to open the gates and get the water level. And they've just noticed a big log in the water there, which is going to stop the gates from opening. So that's got to be fished out before we can go anywhere. Rich has got no idea what's happening. All good training for the volunteers, I guess. It's a hefty old log to fish out. No, I think they've taken the option of just moving it out of the way is better than fishing it out at this point.
this is our latest mooring spot. We arrived yesterday mid-afternoon. No boats have passed us yet. So peaceful. We've had incredible weather, really heavy storms or downpours and then this lovely sunshine and as soon as the rain stops and the sun comes out the birds just go crazy. And this morning we were woken to a chirping, barking sound, we're not quite sure what. And we have a feeling that there might be otters over there. Um, this part of the river is known for otters. So we're hoping, we're watching that we might see otters this evening. It's so calm, the water's so calm. And this is what it's all about. Well, we're really enjoying the River Weaver. It's beautiful. We've got a nice mooring here that uh, we've been here a couple of nights now, haven't we? Yeah. And, um, we're just off to do two locks, the lock ahead of us, called Saltisford Lock. And uh, we're just, as like I said, we're enjoying it. It's yeah. just such a lovely change and from the canal. Apparently the mooring ahead of us is called Devil's Garden, but we've seen um, photographs of it. It looks stunning. So I think we're going to have another few days of peace yeah. and quiet. And there's, we've seen no boats still. Two days we've two been days. here, not one boat has passed. So I... Yes. Bad, but Lovely. I don't know where everybody is because it's all supposed to have gone crazy once lockdown was released and it just doesn't seem to have happened. We're not here anyway. And we're not complaining. <laughs> so it was a beautiful morning. Uh, blue skies. Now the rain clouds have come so it's time to go. Yeah. You better get <laughs> a move. Time to go. It's raining. <laughs> I think you better get your washing in as well. <laughs> it's done. It's almost done. Yeah. Washing's in. Washing machine going back on again. Oh, that's a luxury, isn't it? <laughs> Come on then, let's go. Let's go. This lock, Saltersford lock, uh, is in desperate need of repair. It takes about 20 minutes or so to go down because not all the sluices are working. So as luck would have it, there was a boat coming out as we were going in, the first boat we've seen in two days. So um, he's given us the number, the lock keeper, so we can phone him on our way back so we don't have to hang around. Not that we're ever in any rush, but uh, such is the state of some of the canals these days, the um, locks are really in need of repair and I can't see how things are going to get better when the government reduce their funding in five years time. It's not good. Well that took about 25 minutes to get through Saltersford Lock. It's in desperate need of repair. Um, half the sluices aren't working, only one of the gates opens as you're coming out. So uh, 
yeah, it's just uh, a measure of how much money is needed to keep this whole network going. It's uh, in disrepair in a lot of places. And we did do some sums the other day actually and we looked at the income from boaters and the amount that is spent, it's all on the CRT website, the amount that is spent on maintenance and it doesn't match up does it? The, the, the boater income isn't enough to keep the locks and the dredging work no. alone done. So I don't know what needs to be done. But that lock also takes a massive amount of water doesn't it? I think it was a hundred it's either a million litres or a million gallons, I can't remember, whatever way, a lot of water to empty and fill that lock. And halfway along there are gates that used to be used to make it into a smaller lock. But they're not in operation and there's just no money to restore it. Um, so a lot of water gets wasted each time you use the lock. It's worrying, isn't it? What's going to happen in five years time when the government cut their funding for the canal system which you know is, a, is the country's heritage the government should be paying for it our taxes should be keeping it going god knows they waste enough money on decorating number 10 anyway it's a lovely day <laughs> Well, this is the first time I've used the new ropes and uh, I have to say they're a lot friendlier on your hands than the old nylon ones and it's just really grippy it's just the nylon ones seem to slip through your hands a bit more I don't know I really like them just need to keep them clean and look after them apparently dry them out well they're much thicker as well so it's just it's just easier to grip big fan so far of hemp ropes wide work boat has just come out of this massive lock and both the gates are open so I could go in sideways if I wanted to it's such a big gate no scratching on the boat in this one Oh,